Hello everyone, uh, my name is Khalid and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to teach everyone how to create a shield uh, using the pen tool. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, make sure Adobe Photoshop CS3 or CS4 is open. Click on File, New. And I'm going to use this uh, custom preset 400 pixels by 400 pixels. And uh, the background is going to be white. And click on OK. Then uh, on your keyboard, press and hold Control Shift N to create a new layer. Then go up to View, Show, and Show the Grid. And then choose your Pen Tool. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so go ahead and make a dot and about the center. And then up one. Then a dot there. An anchor there. An anchor here. An anchor here. 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 And here. Okay, once you're done with that, right click within your shield and then actually before you do that, go to your tool panel and click on com uh, convert point tool. Uh, click once on convert point tool and just drag, drag your uh, lines out. Okay, that looks good enough. Just just drag out the bottom one and leave all the other ones uh, kind of like a uh, with the pointed with the pointed look. The pointed looks a lot better than the circle look, I think. Okay, so um, then choose your pen tool, right click within your shield, choose make selection, uh, set the feather radius to zero pixels. Then go up to your rectangle marquee tool, and click on fill, and choose a dark color. Once you're done with that, press Ctrl D to deselect. Then go to your layers palette, and in your layers palette, right click layer 1, and choose blending options. Then go up to uh, Drop Shadow and set these settings. For Drop Shadow, make sure the angle is set to 90 degrees. Distance is set to 20. Size is set to 50. And then go to Inner, inner Glow and set the color to C C C C C C that's six C's and also set the technique to precise source to center and size to about fifty. Okay, once you're done with that uh, click on bevel and emboss style choose emboss technique uh, choose chisel soft size choose 5 and make sure your angle is set to 90 and altitude is set to 75 then choose the satin tool and make sure the angle is set to 90 degrees Make sure it's set to multiply and make sure the color is set to 000, sorry, 00, sorry, 00FF00. This is what it looks like so far. And then um, make sure distance is set to 11 and size is set to 14. 
and uh, contour is set to Gaussian. And then go to your stroke and make sure stroke the size is set to 3 pixels. Um, and then the fill type will be a gradient. And the gradient we're going to be using today is the gradient that I created earlier if you would like to see what the gradient looks like it's uh, white on one end and on the other end it's CCC CCC and click OK to accept okay and this is what our shield looks like so far you can go up to view show uh, undo the grid now let's add some text to it Click on your the horizontal type tool, and right now have the font set to Arial, bold, six points, and it's sharp, and uh, the font is aligned to the left, and I'm using a color a white color font. Just type in armor. then go to your layers palette choose blending options uh, choose drop shadow make sure drop shadow is set the distance is set to one size is set to two uh, inner shadow is set to one the distance one and size is one and the stroke is set to one on the outside and the color we're going to be using is 4C994C. C. Click OK to accept. And this is what it should look like at the end. Um, now, if you want to align um, your text to your armor, just make sure you hold down the Control key or the Shift key and select layer 1 then press V key on your keyboard to choose the move tool and or, uh, sorry, uh, align vertically to the center and align horizontally to the center you can also align your uh, armor uh, image to the document so let's go ahead and do that and then align the text with the shield and maybe move it up a little bit and voila this is what it looks like in the end um, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial my name is Khalid again thank you for watching and have a great day bye bye